Well, g'day, everyone. Uh, I did a post recently talking about why I returned my 8 gigabyte Mac Mini for the 16 gigabyte Mac Mini. And in fact, I'm going to go over a few of those things in a, a new video soon. Everyone was worried that they couldn't upgrade the RAM and also the uh, storage on these motherboards. But it looks like you can, but that comes with a really big catch. Let me just show you the article that I'm talking about. So this is an Engadget article. There's a few articles I'll show you, a couple at least. And they're saying there is a way to upgrade an M1's Mac memory and storage. Uh, but like I said, it comes with a big catch. And a lot of people were really upset in the fact that they couldn't change these components, particularly seeing that the swap files seem to use a fair bit of uh, memory and people were worried about the life of their swap file or their hard disk, in, uh, the internal hard disk. So what they found is Mac Rumors actually posted posted this, uh, that someone in China discovered that you could upgrade or detach the SSD and also uh, the RAM chips um, to a higher capacity parts. Now, obviously, you're going to have to be able to get these parts. That could, that would be the problem at the moment, but they are showing that it's technically possible. So this could really do something for the future. Uh, and they're saying here that, so you could, in theory, uh, upgrade to 16 gigabytes of RAM instead of having the uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM. And it says, here though that as you might imagine though the process is fraught with peril uh, you're removing soldered on chips and replacing them with components you aren't about to find in a store in other words so you will basically void your warranty the second that you tried to do this but they are saying that it might be that in future Macs that you will be able to upgrade these components now if I switch to the article uh, on Mac rumors here uh, you'll see that this is what they've done so they have taken the chips off uh, and then you could replace them with another component and that's what they did here uh, you can see where they've done that through here and here so it looks like it is actually possible uh, not really available yet but there may be some third party options that get that can do this for you in the future if you did have problems with your SSD uh, or if they started to bring out uh, better components you might have a way of swapping them over uh, so it's quite an interesting uh, concept you can see here where they've taken the parts off and replace them uh, here as well. So let me know what you think about this because I'm, I'll be really curious to know what you think about that. I mean, obviously it's not there at the moment, but it could be something that is really good in the future or handy in the future, particularly with upcoming models and things like that. Uh, and, you know, you might be able to find that you could buy these chips. It's going to be an interesting scenario for the future. Uh, leave your comments down below and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.